song in a long time. That's actually how I know all of you fine people from a parody show I did with Chris Reed. And uh, uh, I wanted to go to like, kind of like maybe dig a little deep and like write about something that mattered to me. And I, I went through a few topics and I was like, oh, I should write about, I don't know how like all my friends are having babies and I'm not ready yet. And I was like, no, you can go deeper than that. And so this is a song about um, a relationship in my life that's like, started really good and it's just become very fraught and uh, it just takes up a lot of space in my mind so I'm sorry everything else has been very cheerful up till now but this is uh this is gonna get uh, a little dark dear Stephen Moffat what to <laughs> say to you we wrote the best episodes of Doctor Who when we saw the empty child, we Woo! cried because we were so scared. <laughs> then you gave us Madame de Pompadour. So many feels, you took us to the brink. Then with blink, you terrified us from the start. And your writing was so smart. Russell Davies made you new head writer. He gave his show to you. We said bravo for you. We thought you'd make the season arcs much tighter. <laughs> we had such faith in you. We thought no way could you feel to blow us all away. Moffat, Moffat. Yeah, you'd blow us all away. Moffat. charge and things started going wrong. Just wrong. It started strong, but then the timelines just stopped making sense. Like all the stuff with Rory and Amy's deaths. Now you've got Capaldi in the lead. The lead! When he talks, it sounds like that. And the dialogue falls flat. Clara Osborne just sucks. <laughs> the writing's lost that soft touch. We miss Crayola Daleks are dumb. Just give us something new in the TARDIS. Just anything, anything new would be nice. And by new, I don't mean taking a sonic screwdriver and breaking it and putting it on your face. Because sonic glasses are incredibly stupid. I just can't take it seriously. And when I say new, I also don't mean villains made out of the sleep sand that gathers in your eyes because that episode was so bad, I had to fast forward through it. And I feel guilty doing that because I think you should give people the time that their work deserves and really appreciate it. But it's just, it just doesn't hang together anymore. And why is the doctor so mean now? Who do you want to problem like a nice man or your mean old grandpa? You don't want your old grandpa. I don't want to travel through time with a mean old man. That's what crazy people want to do. It just doesn't work anymore, and I want to love it. I want to love it again, but you make it impossible. I'm sorry, I blacked out for a minute. Does this, does this mean that you're gonna stop watching Doctor Who? Okay, we'll give it one more season. Stay with you, won't walk away from you. If you go back to your old run and reason, you could have this on lock. You do it on Sherlock. You can blow oh, no, us no, all no, away. No, no. He completely destroyed Sherlock. What That's are you it. talking about? Sherlock is Damn amazing. For one season and one, which by the way would be four episodes. First of all, they have very busy schedules, and that's not on him. Second, season two was fine. Make them hour-long shows, and then no. suddenly you've got none of it. Season two them. is very good. Up until the last episode, when the he last jumps episode off a building, he jumps off. That's a season building. one, and the come out of that was great. You see what it does? The come out of that is a blog about the end of season two. That's all it is. That's untrue. A lot of emotional stuff happens. The wedding sequence, the speech. You see the feels. It's great. An hour and a half of a wedding speech. That's exactly what I is want to show. Is it is it better than where Doctor Who is right now? Is it better? <laughs> you could blow us all away. Moffat, Moffat. 
Yeah, please blow us all the way. I hear Agent Carter's coming back. I'm pulling for fire. <laughs>